Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, basically import any type of file to your app. Photos, documents, or even contact cards. You can use them for whatever you wanna use them for. So this is what the end result looked like. This is an app that only has a picker. When you click on it, it asks you, do you wanna use the camera roll, files, or contact cards? Pick the camera roll, it will ask you to select a picture, and then you can use that picture in your app. If you pick a file, it will do the same thing, but it will instead it will browse the file manager of your iPhone, and it will. You can also use that document in your file. Here I'm just displaying the name. Or if you pick a contact card, you can use that contact card in your app. Get the number, get the email, get the. Uh... Sorry, my cat is being annoying. You can use anything, any information that exists in that contact card. So let's implement this. Okay, so the first thing I just want to work on the interface. So I'm just going to create a button that says Vic Epicker. And then here will be the action. Now what happens when I click this button, I'm going to display the action sheet that will ask me what kind of file I would like to import. So I will call this action sheet visible. And I'm going to need to define that state variable. An action sheet will be a confirmation dialog. You can do the title, select a type. As presented will be the variable that we just created. And now we can fill this thing with the options or the buttons for the option. So three buttons, photo, file, contact. This is what happens when I click this, it displays. Now, that's cool. Now I need to create a state variable that will let me determine the type of the picker that will be displayed if it's for camera roll, files, or contact cards. For that, like we showed in, uh, I have another video about how to uh, have multiple sheets inside your app check out the link for that in the description or here somewhere in the boxes I'm gonna figure out how to do that later uh, in that video I show you that if you want to have multiple sheets in your app you need to create an enum that, that basically define the types of sheets that are possible in the app and it looks like this here sorry about that I'm gonna zoom in with for you so you can see so we have three types of possible sheets we have camera roll files contact card I'm gonna use it in a state variable like this private var uh, picker type and that's gonna be null and I make it null by just doing this picker type question mark that's gonna initialize that state variable as a null or like we say in Swift nil so now what happens is that when I click on photo I'm gonna set the picker type to with the dollar sign to photo same for the others file and contact okay let's test if that is working by creating the actual sheet so here under your v stack so let's fold this so you can see what i'm doing here you're gonna just add something called sheet and you're gonna use the one that says item item and here is where you're gonna use that picker type variable and here in the content you will have something called item that is being returned and this is what we're going to use to create the switch that's going to determine which type of sheet to be displayed so here i'm going to create a switch in case the item that is selected is a file sorry photo let's go in the proper order i will for now i'm going to have a placeholder called navigation view and i'm just going to fill it up with something that says with with a text that says photo copy that over a couple of times more change it up okay cool now let's try that out select a picker click on photo you get a sheet that says photo inside it now instead of having this navigation view placeholder i want to have my actual picker but first i need to create state variables that will hold the data of the file that i select using those pickers i can just do it like this at state Selected image and this will be the type of UI image question mark to make it nil initially and you need to do this a couple of times more selected document a File that could be anything could be a even a video it could be anything really so for this you need to just make it data because we're gonna get the data but also To know what the document that we just selected is called we need to also get the name for it So we'll just create another state variable here here that would be of a type string and then one for the contact card so the contact card for that in order to use it you need to import something called import contact ui cn contact now let's create the uh the picker views so first i'm going to do the image 
picker. Now let me show you the copy paste code that I'm using for this. It looks like this. I'll fold it so you can see what's going on. So here I'm just creating a, this is one of those unfortunate situations where you have to work with UI kit. If you're a beginner like me who just started learning using Swift UI, this is extremely confusing. I'm sorry to you guys if I don't know if I can explain this, but I'll just try my best to explain what's going on. Uh, the way I understand is that they still haven't came up with a way of having a, uh, a, a out of the box class for uh, having an image picker inside Swift UI, so you gotta use the one that they have in UI kit. Here you define the variables that will hold your uh, the data for the image you select, so that's gonna be here. This is gonna be a parameter for this class, by the way, when we use it. And here is where you actually get the image. So when you pick an image from the view controller, you can do an action with it here. So here what I'm doing is that I'm storing the image data in that variable, this variable, and I'm also dismissing this view. So that's all that's happening here. Anyways, you grab this, you go here, you take this out, and you just go image picker. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to uh, use the actual simulator in here instead because my uh, canvas is starting to act up so switch to simulator anyways what i did is that uh, the image picker that i created here has become a class that i can just include here okay and now i can use it here photo it opens up the image picker and then it asks you to choose a picture if i select this it will just close right now i'm not doing anything with the picture that i get okay but uh, we'll do that later Okay, now let's do the file picker. It's gonna be something similar, so just go create another Swift file here. Same ID, we're interfacing with UI kit, view controller over here. This is the file that I get, this is its name. Here I create the view, here I modify it a little bit. You can see here that I'm not allowing the selection of multiple files, okay? Uh, there's probably other options that you can explore here too, then like directory URL show file extensions you know what let's try that see what happens so I'll just set that to true um, and over here I'm doing a bit of a coding to uh, to 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 get the file it's a little confusing and intimidating but here's what's happening what happening is I am copying the file to my variable over here right I'm making a copy of it I'm not accessing the file directly here and then dismissing the view okay and the reason that I do this is that if I try to get the, the data directly it's gonna get upset at me because I did not do this so here I'm I have to tell it when I'm when I have stopped using the file so when I tell it when, that I have stopped using the file it will just let me copy it but otherwise it's gonna get upset at you it's gonna get upset at you for 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 accessing the resources on the phone directly and trying to play around with it so here what do you see I'm just making a copy of the file using the URL so I get the URL I use data to make a copy of the data of the file then I just pass it to my variable here you can't do this directly you can't just go take this URL here and just paste it here directly you have to make a copy like this okay now let's implement this as well so get rid of this and set go file picker and we're gonna have file which is gonna be cells selected document and eh, I'm not keeping it consistent here and file name which is self selected document text why don't we do that should be select document name so select document name changes also the same thing here uh, let's try it what do you mean you can't find file picker in scope it's right here dude ah my struct name was file picker Sorry about that, so here now, now I just need to replace everything. This is what happens when you copy and paste your code, your code, sorry. So fix that. Now let's try again. So I should have replaced all, I should just replace this one that says document picker. God, this is annoying. Here, here, okay, we're good? Nope. Gotta replace this one too, this one too. And this one, hopefully this is the last one. I think we're good. Let's try again. There we go. Sorry about that, it's kind of embarrassing. Okay, so pick a picker, select a file, we get the sheet. Aha, this is the, um, this is a test document. Let's select it, 
works. <laughs> Nothing bad happened. Okay, now con the code for the contact view control is a bit complicated. Contact picker. And it looks like this. There's a lot of things going on here. By the way, because all of these um, picker codes are not something that I try to figure out myself and I just found on GitHub just I will share the link to I will share the link to the gists in the description. You don't have to sign. You don't have to. It wouldn't be fair if I if you if you get it from my Patreon and pay for it and all that stuff. So you just gotta leave it in the description box. Just copy paste it into whatever existing project you have if you want to. Fine. But the full source code is gonna be in Patreon. Anyway, so this is ready. Let's use this also. Contact picker uh, selected contact self. Okay. There we go. Cool. Okay. We can read a sheet that have all these pickers together. Now, um, let's display the content that we get here, right on top of the button. Here, I can I'll open a VStack that, that displays the content of whatever we selected. But first, I need to be able to identify what I just selected. In order to do that, I'm going to create another state variable here called... Uh, just the same as this one, just change the name to selected type. Okay. And we gonna use that in our if statement here. So if selected uh, type is file and no, not file, photo. We gotta do, do it in order. Photo and that photo selected image is not nil then we're gonna display it same thing with the rest so we're just gonna do grab this and copy over and over but guys always keep the terminology consistent like me okay you can be you can be using document here and file there it's gonna it's gonna be very confusing for you when you try to control f anything in your code anyways you're probably wondering why am i using a new variable called selected type instead of just reusing um picker type and the reason is picker type gets set to nil when this sheet is dismissed. So I can't use it to determine this because when I try to when I try to find out what type of file that I have, it's gonna be nil. It's not gonna be photo or file or contact. That's why I have to create a separate one. It's not pretty, but it works. Okay, so here I'm just gonna see what contact card I have. I'll just do text and contact card selected. It's gonna be just grab that contact card variable and just do that one will have a given name which is the first name okay and you need to have a little space between the two names like this and then you'll do the same thing here just copy this over and then they're gonna be another uh, another uh, attribute that's called family name for the last name I don't know why they just call it first name last name okay so that's for the contract card here for the document you just see document selected and you're gonna put self document name the one that we got from before and now the image the image is a little bit tricky so just do image Jesus Christ calm down image this is gonna be sorry for the cat sorry it's night my cat is going crazy uh, so selected image and now you want to make that image resizable right so you can resize it and then here you're gonna do aspect ratio okay this should do it since it listen here selected image okay type I'll, I'll leave the typo in sorry I have fat fingers okay let's run this and see what happens what now oh we'll just do this it's fine because here we're checking if it's not already so you can do that don't worry Hey, buddy. <coughs> okay. Photo. Come on. Ah, oh, sorry. It was a bit slow. I picked the photo. Uh, it's not showing up. Why? What did I do wrong? Huh. Ah, it's because I'm not here. It's because when I'm when I'm selecting the type of the picker, I should be also setting the uh, selected type too to photo. So 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 I, I have the data. I just don't have 
the selected tab is null, so it can't show anything. So here I gotta do this. Oops, I'm so upset at myself right now. Okay, let's do this again. <coughs> Photo. Here we go. Now, file. That's it. Okay, contact. Kate Bill. There you go. We've done it. Easy, 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 easy. Uh, cool. Uh, that's how you do it. Hope it was helpful. I'm gonna take the uh, the codes for these pickers and put them in GitHub just and put them in the description box. Because I did not put this together myself. I can't just slap it behind my Patreon. Not fair. However, the full source code for this project will be in my Patreon. You know, you should subscribe anyway just to support the channel. Even if you know how to do this code yourself. Just, you know. Help us out, <laughs> uh, and and you get to suggest content for the for the for the channel if you if you're a Patreon. Yeah, I take care of my guys. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.